month, early voting begins for the 2020 presidential election. Now, up to this point, you might have forgotten, but I'm here to remind you that from October 13th to October 30th, that your mask and ID need to be your best friends. The polls depend on it. And if you forget for some odd reason, then you have another opportunity on November 3rd, the official election date to vote. You see, this election is important for many reasons. The United States administration, especially the executive officer, has become sloppy and he truly believes he is invincible. Okay, it is fine to have your opinions, but the facts should not be compromised. Earlier this year, an unforeseen situation took place in the United States, and just like in many other countries, the damage was unimaginable. Many businesses closed, many lost their jobs, and essentially everyone had to adjust in one way or another. But you see, the problem is the United States was in denial, especially the executive officer. I believe the word he used was H-O-A-X. When many made him aware of his ridiculous statements and gave him chances to explain his ignorance or take his remarks back, he claimed he never said such a thing. This is just one example of how he lacks accountability. And as far as I'm concerned, he has no business implementing and enforcing laws in such a developed country like the United States. If you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. Moving along to late May when the death of George Floyd forced people and countries to ponder on how racism was never eradicated, especially in the so-called land of equality. Many engaged in peaceful protesting and the hashtag Black Lives Matter became more apparent. Numerous deaths of racial discrimination take place in the United States on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. But some of the significant ones include Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, and Breonna Taylor. And might I add that the officers who shot and killed her are still roaming freely with no charges to worry about. Racial injustice is a problem that the executive officer does not want to acknowledge. In fact, in this video here, where I will also link down below, when asked if racism is systemic, he said he doesn't think so. Denying the extremity of racism in the United States is one thing, which really shouldn't be a discussion because it is very severe. But to completely deny and behave as if the question is just ludicrous is unacceptable. And that is my problem. How can the United States combat racism when the one in charge of enforcing laws for the greater good of society believes that such an issue like racism doesn't exist? How can you change something that doesn't exist? Or in other words, how can you change something that you don't acknowledge? Now, what prompted this video besides reminding you that early voting begins next month is that the educational system in the United States needs to be examined greatly. My main concern is the lack of resources. On my blog, I wrote a blog post about how educational success can't solely depend on student motivation. I will leave the link down below in the description box, but essentially I was discussing how the government can't demand upright and law-abiding citizens when the tools and resources to navigate the world and to do what is expected are not in place. And one of those necessary resources include more financial literacy classes in schools. I discuss white privilege and financial literacy classes on my second channel called Economic Implications 101. In a video titled The Economic Implications of Racism, but what I want to emphasize here is that if the United States and its administration wants to reduce crime, poverty, and other micro issues, a reliable system needs to be in place so that resources are readily available to all persons, hint, equally. And guess who doesn't have a plan to address 21st century schools? The current executive officer. He says a child's zip code in America should never determine their future. 
but he also has plans on making spending cuts. It's important to realize that I'm not saying that the current president lacks any charming qualities. Of course not. If I said that, I would dismiss in my opinion that he's funny. Meaning, I can't help but laugh at the tremendous list of incompetence he has shown in the past four years as the president of the United States. But again, it could be his Gemini sun shining through. Regardless of what you think, both presidential candidates have flaws, and I'm not expecting them to be perfect. However, I do want to change because the foolery and bare minimum standards that the United States administration has been permitting for the past four years is not okay. Its citizens deserve better, and they deserve more. If you like this video about the U.S. educational system and why voting is imperative in 2020, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget the link to my blog post is down below. Thank you for listening, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya!